There's so much information we have now, so much available. But how do you know the truth? There's a lot of people who say this is true, that is true. There's a lot of those truth that truths that end up in results that hurt people, that harm people or harm the planet. So how do you know what's true? In my experience, it's tuning into the body, tuning into your body. When I am aware of my nervous system, it, it guides me through feeling and through subtle nudges. Some people call it the gut instinct. Some people call it intuition. And for me, it's a, or, or the still small voice. But what it feels like to me is my body's response to any information be that sound or light or voice or something that I see. It's my body's response. And working with bodies for the past 12 years doing massage therapy, one thing I've learned is that the body can't lie. The nervous system can't lie. It's incapable of lying. It's sort of like asking a, a one-year-old to lie. They're incapable of it. So when you are able to feel your body and feel your sensations very acutely and you're willing to pay attention, and a lot of us are taught to, to just, you know, oh, it's just some pain or it's just whatever, you know, it's really poo-pooed, it's, um, we're not taught to honor our feelings. But the thing is, truth hides within our feelings and within our body's sensations. And so for you to think for yourself, to learn what's best for you, to learn what you need, what your boundaries are, what information is um, supportive or non-supportive to you or to the goals you're trying to create, um, you've got to be able to tune in to yourself and to your body and to develop a relationship where you will truly listen and have this respect and honoring of your body. And it will tell you the truth. It will blossom open. And that will help with everything from your relationships to the way you spend your time, to what work you do, to your communication with other people, to um, how safe you feel in the world. So learning to slow down and feel and listen and respond to those sensations is very important. This is one of the things I help my clients when I do massage therapy. I help them get in touch with their sensations. We'll work on an area and they'll, they'll um, notice the sensations and I'll have them describe them. You know, what do they feel like? And really go into them and feel them and breathe them. And over time, they become more acutely aware and able to use that information to take better care of themselves. And then eventually, I find that they start making better choices for their self just in their life. It's amazing. So this is something I think can be done virtually through what I'll call um, body guided, <clears throat> virtual guided body awareness. And so it's a practice where through um, a mixture of meditation, movement, mindfulness, self-massage, and stretching, I can work with you and guide you to, to really sink into your own body, your feelings and sensations, and cultivate a practice of listening and responding. And what that will do, I believe, is help you stay out of pain physically and learn how to stay out of pain mentally and emotionally because you will start to feel the guidance of your, your we can say soul or we can say heart or we can say God connection. Um, I'm going to call it your nervous system. It's, it's the thing that supports you. It's the thing that when you're traumatized guards and creates tension patterns or when you're stressed, it's, it um, compress or not compresses, but it's, uh, it's more tight and guarded, and so there's less blood flow and less movement, and it's more choppy. So I want you to be able to, to move, to 
flow, not only in your body, but in your, in your feelings. And therefore, to be able to move through life and act from your truth. So, if you want help with that, find me in the links below. And, and otherwise, do your own practice, whatever it is. You might already have one. An ecstatic dance, or a movement practice, a meditation, a mindfulness practice, anything that gets you in touch with your body, getting massages, any of that is helpful and it's a practice. It's a practice of coming home to yourself and to the truth of who you are from the inside out.